Hey everybody! Happy Sunday! It's Holly and Heather. We're here with another Sunday edition of Everything Elvis. Get it. And today <laughs> is a really fun video. We're doing an Elvis Week haul. If any of y'all watch YouTube and stuff, you know that <clears throat> all these people get online and they show you what they shopped for and what they bought at the store. And we thought, well, that'd be kind of fun yeah. to show what we uh, got at Elvis Week. And the funny thing is, we were just scrambling to get everything together because I forgot to do that last night. That's why we're late. And um, sorry about that. We're going to really try harder. To be... It's never going to happen. No, it'll happen. Next week. <laughs> Maybe like episode... 287. Anyway, uh, anyway, so I was worried. I told Heather last week when we thought about doing this, I was like, I don't think we're going to have enough stuff to show. She doesn't know me. Y'all, I can't even fit it. There's a big table in front of us. I can't even fit it all on the table. So yeah, but this is going to be really cool because we always like to take you all along with us in mm -hmm. the souvenir shops. And we did that last year and we did it again this year because so mm -hmm. many people loved it. And yep. so now, you know, everybody's always asking us, like, you know, what did you get? What did you buy? So now you get to see yeah, what we bought. And we put it into three categories. We're trying to be organized. Um, I'm relying on Heather because, you know, as most of, well, you may not know, Heather used to be a jewelry television show host on a shopping network uh, in East Tennessee where we're from. So she is awesome at telling you about stuff and her memory is fantastic. So, cause, cause I'll just be like, look at this thing I got. I don't know anything about it. And she'll be like, here's where we got it. Here's how much it was. And here's all the aspects oh about it. Oh my goodness. So <laughs> anyway, um, if you know anybody that loves Elvis, mm -hmm. please share, like, and comment, share this video with them. Um, let us know your comments. Uh, let us know what you like, what you don't. And if you have any questions about it, we'll try to answer it and tell you where you can get it. Cause a few of the things we also um, shopped and got online and stuff as well, or, or you can get it online. Most yeah. of this we bought in person down there, but you can get it like at Shop Elvis or mm -hmm. Graceland.com mm -hmm. or probably eBay or Amazon. You just never know. I just thought I forgot the record. I gotta go get that. I okay. was like, yes. I forgot. Yeah. I forgot what item. That's okay. very important. So I'll get yeah. that in a minute. It's gonna be our last item anyway. So yeah, I'll get it in a minute. Let me um share this to our group. All right. P.S. Uh, hello, everything Elvis group members. If you're watching this, I'm about to share it to the group as well. Yeah, and thanks everybody for yeah. joining. Um, just make sure Holly and I were talking about it last night, and mm -hmm. we have had so many people join yes. since August. It's well, even crazy. before that, but especially starting like mm -hmm. the beginning of August, and then up until now, we've had tons and tons of people mm -hmm. sign on to be members. However, remember that <laughs> in order to be a member and be approved, when I mean, you, you can be a member. Up, I'll put you yes. in there. There's your three questions that you have to answer. So make sure you answer those questions. And they're really simple. It's stuff like what? Where you're it's from? your email. Where you're from? And have you been to Elvis Week? Yeah. So that's all it is. And that just gives us a little bit of information about you. Um, and really, we definitely want your email because that's how we contact you about upcoming things that we're going to be doing mm -hmm. and also about giveaways and yeah. about winners and things. So make sure you do those three questions and give us your email and everything so that you definitely have a chance at the giveaways. Yeah. Yeah, because we're starting Elvis Bingo, too, and we'll probably try to do a few so giveaways. So excited about Elvis Bingo. And we got it here today, so maybe Yay. we'll open it up and show up. Because we've not even opened up half this stuff, y'all. So, I'm going to do time. All I've been doing is working and, <laughs> and catching up. And from Elvis Week. Yes, yeah. and catching well, up. Well, here, say hi to a few people while I'm sharing this. Oh, yeah. So, let's see. Who you can, all you can free, you can I'm going to be able to pull it up on my phone. Hold on. I actually got my phone here today. I remembered to charge it this morning, so let me just... Guys, we're doing better. We're let doing me just better. go to... Well, here, I'll just, while you're doing that, all you got to do is say hi. Yeah. Wanna... Hey, Junior. Junior, always tuning in. Thank you so much. Appreciate April, it. hi. How are you? April, always tuning in. Hi, Vanessa. How are you? Brenda. Brenda. Hello. I know I saw Heather. Karen. <laughs> hello, hello. Carolyn, hi. How are you doing? Our other Heather's watching. Oh, I got it here. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Look, hey, Carolyn. Hey, Sydney. Yeah, hey, guys. Uh, Sandra. Why is this not letting me share? I swear. My Who iPad. knows? I think I need a new one. This we do like need a new one. Old. Yeah, we've, we've worn that one out. 
Yeah. I've worn it out with my Netflix because y'all know how much I love Netflix. So, yeah. Um, all right. Let me see if I can share it again. Yeah. Feel free while we're showing you this stuff, feel free to comment about what's your favorite item or what you would have bought or that. what you collect. So, the good thing about me is, well, probably not <laughs> a good thing, but as most of you know, I am a huge Elvis fan yes. and always have been. So, I am an avid collector and I have been collecting Elvis yes. memorabilia and things for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. So I have a massive collection, which Holly says one day we're gonna make that our Facebook Live and we're gonna take you through my collection some of it because it would take yeah, we'll probably like, through, like parts one through five it would take like yeah multiple takes so we'll take you through some of it but anyway the good thing about that uh -huh. is is that i'm able to you know i buy myself stuff but holly has bought me tons of stuff through the years my parents have um you know when i graduated high school and college my aunts and uncles and people were buying me elvis stuff anybody in the family that had elvis memorabilia were collectors it all got passed down to me <laughs> all my friends they it's i'm easy to get gifts for at Christmas and birthdays and things because they're like just buy her something Elvis and she'll be happy um, so I have you know multiple things yeah, coming to me all the time so when I go to Elvis week I have to tone it down you know, and really be strategic, you know, money-wise and just item-wise, what I decide to choose and what yes. I decide to pick. But every single year, there's always mm -hmm. certain items that I'm like, I just have to have it because it's things I love to collect. Mm -hmm. So Holly and I are big fans of glassware, whether yes. it be a coffee mug or a yes, glass. The mug I'm drinking out of today was what I got yeah. from last year. So. so we usually always get, you know, several things like that. Mm -hmm. I love t-shirts, so I always get great t-shirts. Yep. Um, so that's a lot of what you're going to see today. Yeah. Okay. Well, here, what do you want to start with? I don't know. What do you okay. Want to start let's with? start with <laughs> things we won. These are things yes. we won because you know, Heather and I, we don't pass up a trivia, game night, a bingo, anything. We are there, especially during Elvis week. And I feel like they had a lot of opportunities this year. So we always talk about that Elvis, uh, Elvis fan bash that we go to every year, mm -hmm. which is awesome. And they always do a little, uh, trivia thing where you go up and you answer a trivia question about Elvis, mm -hmm. and if you get it correct, you get to spin this wheel, and they have all sorts of little prizes. Um, so I answered my question correctly. What was my question? Do you remember? It was something about Lisa Marie Presley, I think. Uh, it was how many children does she have? Yes. So, and I said four. So look what I picked out. You got to pick out, I, I spun the wheel and got to like pick my prize. Mm -hmm. And look at this cute, I wore this during the candlelight vigil because I loved it so much, because um, I was worried if it rained, you know. So look, it's just like, I think they call it a boat hat. That's what I call it. And um, it always reminds me of oh, late, late 70s Elvis, because he used to wear this little boat hat all the time. Yeah. And I love this one, because it says Elvis Presley, mm -hmm. and it's got his little um, silhouettes, but it's not like super gaudy. Like, I would wear this out anywhere, yeah. you know, because you have to really look up close to notice that it's, it's an Elvis item, mm -hmm. so I thought that was cute. But yeah, it always makes me think of that you know, pictures and videos you always see of Elvis with Ginger mm -hmm. Alden like in 77. Yeah. You know, when they're mm -hmm. like outside of Graceland. And so then, then here's your item. Why don't you tell them about your question and what you won? Yeah. So our question was kind of like, sorry, I'm having a bad hair day today. Um, <laughs> our questions were kind of similar because, of course, we were standing in line together. So yeah, mm -hmm. Holly's was, how many children does Lisa Marie have? Mm -hmm. And then mine was, what are their names? Hard. Nailed mine it. Was, mine was like beginner level. Hers was like Nailed intermediate. It. Advanced. Yeah. And if you don't know, it's Riley, Benjamin, and then the twins are Harper and Finley. I'm sure all of our list, uh, all of our they watchers all know. know. They all know. But anyway, so I chose this. It's going to be kind of hard to see with Ellis in the background, but it is a glass mug like with a TCB logo. They call it a TCB Stein. Oh. That's a good name for it. I like but it. anyway, so I love this. Because, again, I love collecting mm -hmm. glassware. Um, I didn't have anything that said TCB on it. All my stuff usually has Elvis mm -hmm. or whatever. But, anyway, loved it. Yep. So, then we went and participated in um, an Elvis trivia where it was like, finish this lyric. I made Holly do it. Well, Heather you know, tried. She's the singer. She tried, though. We both got up there and lost round one. It was <sighs> us against this lady. And she just, like, beat us out. <laughs> But I went back, y'all. I persevered. I went back again. Yeah, I made her. I was like, do and, it. And um, then it was like fate was on her side. It was. Because I was sitting there and I was like, okay, come on, come on. And I'm not kidding that it was like all her favorite, like some of her favorite Elvis yeah. songs and like songs from her TCB album. Yeah. Well, it was, it was Kentucky, Kentucky Rain. Rain. In the ghetto. Wasn't it in the ghetto? 
Yes. I think in the ghetto. I think he ran in the ghetto. Moody Blue. When Moody Blue. Moody Blue. Yeah. Moody Blue. And so we were like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. It was super exciting. Yeah. So that was exciting. So I got to pick out a prize. They had awesome prizes, and this was held in the Jungle Room Bar this year. But look at this cool. It's a wristlet, y'all, and it's in the fashion of Elvis's bracelet that he um, wore in 68. the 68 comeback special. Look at the back. Awesomeness. Um, it opens up. Look at the cute inside. That's his guitar strap pattern. How cute is that? And then it's got like, it's got the little attachment. So you can just hold it as a little clutch. You can put that and make it a wristlet. But um, it's super roomy. It's got like a little zipper pocket right here, which I love because if I'm carrying a small bag, I gotta put my, you know, money and stuff in the zipper part so it doesn't fall out. And then it's got like a little, another little card holder thing. So it's, it's really, really cute. So I yeah. loved this. So if you go to Elvis week, mm -hmm. I'm telling you peeps, it's worth participating yeah. in the bingo and the trivia and stuff because they actually give good prizes. They really, they yeah. really do. Yeah. Yeah, they really do. Mm -hmm. Then, um, we played Elvis Bingo. Was this, this was bingo. Yeah, we did, we did Elvis Bingo. And, um. Yes. <laughs> you had to think about it. I we was did like, Elvis Bingo, yes. and so this was super cute. I got this tote bag, um, and I got it because it number one it says TCB, and I adore anything with the uh, TCB logo because that's what kind of the uh, initials of my album were. My, mine stand for Taking Care of Bluegrass, but you know, of course, this is Taking Care of Business. But I loved it because it says the Guest House at Graceland, and I don't really have a lot of stuff that came from the the guest yes. house so it's mm -hmm. super roomy mm -hmm. it's just a little tote bag once again it has like a little zipper pocket which i cannot buy a tote bag or, or a purse if it doesn't have a zipper pocket like i always have to have the zipper pocket yep. in it so it's really cute too now this i don't know where you could buy this at i don't know if the guest house has their own website or if like possibly shop elvis has any guests because they have a little gift shop in the guest house but i don't know i don't know that they've got all that online but anyway yeah, I'm not sure I had never even seen this that's why I picked it up mm -hmm. when I won it for bingo so that was all the stuff that we wound up winning and then next is some stuff we bought where Heather went crazy at all the gift shops so <laughs> not true not true no I'm just kidding yeah um yeah so some of my favorite gift shops mm -hmm. are as you go into the Memphis complex and mm -hmm. you go straight ahead where it says like tickets and that's where you purchase and pick up all your tickets. Mm -hmm. As soon as you go in to the right is um, a gift shop and it's called Welcome to My World. And this is one of my favorites. It's probably actually my favorite gift shop on the grounds because I always feel like it has the most new uh -huh. merchandise for that Elvis week and mm -hmm. whatever, you know, event they're celebrating that year, you always have the best selection in there. So that's where I got most of my stuff. Yeah. But anyway, so I always love to get t-shirts and this year was hard because there were a lot of really cool t-shirts. Yeah. But as you know, if you watched our uh, Facebook lives, uh -huh. this year the whole theme was the 1969 Elvis back to Vegas mm -hmm. concert and so they had tons of different t-shirts and things um, for that so I picked out two <laughs> I narrowed it down to two and it was a um, lot to narrow it yeah. down y'all so this is the first one so love this picture of Elvis anyway it says Las Vegas. so yeah it says Las Vegas it says Elvis Presley down the side and it has like sparkles on the Elvis Presley mm -hmm. and then I just love this picture of Elvis you know him live singing in that white suit and then that beautiful blue scarf mm -hmm. but anyway and I like the black background they also have this one in what like blue and mm -hmm. like a something blue, yeah. but I like this because I don't know I like black mm -hmm. you know slimming and then I also just thought that showed off the picture really really well yeah. and that was at the welcome to my world gift yeah job. oh and just so you know because Holly wanted me to tell you all you yeah. know I mean just I so you like, know some process I mean I feel like the you know I mean, it's of, course, comparable to, of course they're going to get their money's worth, but I do feel like prices are pretty comparable there, but I think this one was, I don't even know where the price is on it. Okay, this one was $27.99. However, remember how we always talk about the Elvis Insiders uh -huh. membership card. Get that, because then you save 10% at all of these gift shops. Yeah. Not at the guest house, but any of these gift shops, you save 10%. Mm -hmm. So that was basically, what, $2.80 off that. Yeah. All right. Next. I'm going to do one of mine. Okay. I bought something at, um, it's kind of like a discount of a shop, well, I guess. I'm going to do that one after. I was going to talk about that one after. I was going to stick to like each gift shop. Fine. 
I don't know. I'm just going to stay with each gift shop so it makes sense. Okay, fine. Okay, so this was the other t-shirt that I bought. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, because I don't have a red t-shirt of Elvis. I've actually not seen a lot of red t-shirts of Elvis. So, again, this was another one to go with the Elvis Vegas theme. Mm Mm-hmm. So, it says Elvis across him. Kind of like sparkly again. It's kind of interesting, too. It's like yeah. not a picture, yet not a drawing. It's, I don't know, it's just cool. Yeah. So, I don't know. I just loved this one. I yep. loved the red. I thought it would go good with my collection because, oddly enough, most of my t-shirts are black. So, I was like, I need some color. So, loved yep. this one. This one was $24.99 and, again, $2.50 off because of the Elvis Insiders discount. And I'm pretty sure, like I say, all the stuff we're showing you, if you really loved it, I'm pretty sure you can go to Shop Elvis. Or yeah, and I'll talk about that here at the end um, and give you some insight on buying mm-hmm. these items and things. Okay, so as I said, I love glassware and I love cups. So every year I try mm-hmm. to select at least one cup from the collection that they have. And they had a lot mm-hmm. this year, but this is the one I chose. So this is like basically a water and drink tumbler. Uh-huh. So it's got Elvis right here on the front. And then it's got his international yeah. hotel sign. The cool. It's kind of glary, sorry. Yeah, international hotel sign. Uh-huh. All right, and then his signature and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so this is, yeah, a little tumbler. It opens up like that. Like you can screw the lid off. And then it has like this uh, plastic mm-hmm. straw that like automatically comes with it. But these are just like awesome. You know, you can put tea in here, you can put water in here, you can put soft drinks in here. Um, I never. It keeps them cold. Yeah, it keeps them cold. It's like I don't know what would you say this is a. I'm comfortable with sizes. I don't know. A big one. It's big. I don't know. (laughs) A big one. So it's gonna hold a lot. Yeah. Um, But anyway, I love these, and I have one from um, the 40th anniversary a few years ago. But I think I'm gonna put it up because it's the 40th anniversary, so Mm -hmm. I don't mess it up, and I'm going to switch to this one. And this was... 15 uh, or 16. That's hard to see. I I think it was 15.99, 15.99, and then my 10% discount off of that. And our winner um, this year, which was Karen Mock Decker. Congrats. And I think she's watching. We got you one of these, too, because Heather thought you would enjoy it as much as she did. Yes, because these are so great, Karen. You're going to love this. And look at that picture. Look at that beautiful man. I know, so our winner so this year uh, got that. Um, okay, so let me think. What else did you get from that store? Did you get the books? Uh, Maybe? Yeah, one of them. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so... All right, so yeah, they always have really cool books because I also collect books, and that's mm-hmm. one thing that a lot of people give me for some and reason. this one on sale? This one was okay. majorly on sale. Yeah. So I'm usually this is $25. Mm-hmm. They had it on sale for $9.99. Bargain. <laughs> so yeah, you know what's your discount on it, but hey, yeah. Really so know. so you know what? So I was like, I have to have it. But anyway, we haven't even opened it. See, plastic wrap. So maybe we'll like open it one day and take you through it. But anyway, it's called from the Graceland Archives, the Candlelight Vigil, Elvis Presley. Uh-huh. So it's like basically a whole, I guess, book in history. And you know what? Somebody last week asked if we knew why the Candlelight Vigil was always held on the evening before mm-hmm. his actual date of passing. Uh-huh. I bet you that info's in here. We're going to yeah. look it up. We're going to look it up. We're going to read it. But anyway, so it's this really cool book. Super you know, big. Great coffee it's a table. great coffee Yeah, it's a great coffee table book to display. But I mean, $25, $9.99. Who could pass it up? Okay. So that was from there. Mm-hmm. Let's take a pause and say hello to some people because we're getting comments off the wazoo. Okay. And so I can't get them up on my eyes. Oh, okay, cool. Look, look at Let's all this comments. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. Um... Jackie, she says, hi, girls. Can you wave? Um, Carolyn loves anything with TCB on it. Absolutely. Me too. too. Thank you, Greg. Karen says she loves that t-shirt. Oh, and she loves the other one too. Yep. Uh, Kelsey loves the red shirt. Carolyn, I have the red 68 comeback t-shirt. Good one. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Wynn has cups too, and he loves them. Mm-hmm. Uh, Karen loves the tumbler. Yay, I'm glad. Um, let's see. Will has some cups and some singles and elf. Oh, that's cool. I know awesome. we've all got a crazy Elvis collection, isn't it crazy, y'all? All right, and so continuing on. <laughs> what next, Heather? Uh, so let's see. So let me think. Um, mm, did, we got this book and this other book somewhere, didn't we? <clears throat> I'll show you something that I got from the one and only shop that Sorry. we couldn't um, do a Facebook live in because it was like in part of the um, EP Complex Museums, and for some reason they wouldn't let us video there. So, uh, but it was like a 
Elvis motorcycle shop kind of and it had a lot of we took pictures which I have not gotten to put them on yet um I haven't got to put them on the Elvis group pictures but I'm going to I just y'all been busy and I'm trying to categorize them so you'll know what every picture's from but it just had a lot of stuff of like Elvis on his motorcycle and it had cute like little toy trucks and cars and all that but they had this mug that I adored y'all this mug is humongous mm -hmm. And it's pink, which I love, but look at this. And it's super plain. It just says Elvis on it, but I loved it. But it's huge. Like, look at it compared to my, like, little, it's so huge. And so I loved it. So I got that, this from that shop, which I'll post some pictures. Yeah, like I say, I don't know. I think it's just called Elvis Presley Motors. And it's kind of got a car theme because it's right, it's like adjacent to the car museum. Yeah. So, uh, next. So, this goes with this. Let me think about this. I'm trying to remember where we got this. Well, I mean, it's okay. Yeah. I don't remember. I think it was just at another one of the gift shops, mm -hmm. like there. Like the Elvis Complex. Threads or Elvis Home Goods yeah. or something. So, look at that. Love it. So, this one is called from the Graceland Archives Iconic Stagewear, Elvis Presley. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so. I'm always fascinated with Elvis's fashion, mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, some people might not call it fashion. I do, <laughs> um, although I will say that nobody can pull off what he could pull off, um, yeah. especially in these jumpsuits and Look things. at the back, cool back cover. Once again, a great coffee mm -hmm. table book. But yeah, I'm excited to open this one and look mm -hmm. at it because I'm sure it's just going to be all kinds of pictures. Hopefully, it'll be like descriptions and mm -hmm. things and kind of, you know, like okay, when he next. wore it and why. <laughs> We don't oh, keep sorry. them here all day. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right, we've I'm already been really on for in. like 30 minutes, y'all. Really? Sorry. I'm pretty sure. Wow, I get sucked in. All anyway, right, so that was cool. Moving it on. <clears throat> okay, so... Uh, Are you not going to show them this one? Just show them the, all the books while we got them. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this one was also one... Okay, so let me just tell you really quickly. So, as far as gift shops and things, if you're going to uh, Graceland, mm -hmm. um, I know some of you are going in the coming weeks or maybe next year. The old souvenir complex mm -hmm. that's across from Graceland that's in front of the old uh, Hard Rock uh, mm -hmm. Heartbreak Hotel. There's only one gift shop still open right as you go into the complex on the left mm -hmm. and now they just basically call it like close out buys. Yeah. And they just have all kinds of items in mm -hmm. there that they discount price. I'm sure it's stuff they've tried to get rid of or whatever and you can get some really killer steals and deals yes. in there. So we got this book there. Um, Elvis Presley's Graceland Guidebook. Um, it was $25, and I'm pretty sure we got it for half price. Yeah. I think they had it on sale for uh, half price. Yeah. And then I got my discount off that as well. Yeah. They, well, or do they let, mm -hmm. yeah, they let mm -hmm. you get the discount too, so. Yeah, a really cool picture. Love so, it. So, this was a great buy because, yeah, mm -hmm. these books are always really expensive, but really yeah. cool. So, and then, then I got mm -hmm. some really cool socks that, you know, the Elvis socks are kind of expensive. Look at these cuties. They're like little trouser socks, and they say Elvis on them. Three ninety nine, y'all. They're normally like I think seven ninety nine or eight ninety nine. So I got these for three ninety nine. Then the thing I'm probably most excited about. Mm -hmm. So last year, everybody knows that the sixty eight comeback special was the big to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this purse. I saw last year and I really, really wanted it, but I'd already bought a ton of other mm -hmm. stuff, and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna pass. <gasps> They had it at this discount gift shop for half price. And Marcy just uh, commented that she just got that for yeah. half price. So it might be yeah. on. Marcy, well, did you get it, it online? It is. Okay, so it's, it's online. online right now. So guys, if but you anyway, want it's this. got the cool like guitar strap strap, like Elvis's guitar, and then the Elvis on the front. And this is like a big bag. I actually carried it the last couple of nights mm -hmm. down there. Um, let me take this one out. Um, but yeah, so it's really roomy. It's got the. Guitar strap, strap mint. inside. Mm -hmm. It's got like a little, um, you know, back pocket. Does it have a zipper? I mean, it does right here. Okay, well, as long as it zips close. Yeah, but anyway, it's like, yeah, so it's a pretty nice size bag and everything, and you could mm -hmm. even wear it on this side, you know, like if you were wearing it more formal and you didn't want to have the blaring Elvis, you could do it both sides. But this is normally $45, so they had it on sale for half price, $22.50, mm -hmm. and then I got my 10% off of that. So this was a steal, and I was ecstatic, because yeah. I was really sad after I left last year that I didn't get it, so now I have it, and it's fantastic. Then I got this <clears> cool <throat> shirt um, last year. I debated if I was going to get like... Um, and Elvis. I got this one last yeah, year. Yeah, Heather got this one last year, but I was kind of like, eh, I got one of 68 comeback special shirt, and then I was sad when I got home. So when we went to this store, look what I got, half price. Mm -hmm. 
50th anniversary and it's so cute i wore it in one of my facebook lives the other day and everybody really liked it it's like a little baseball shirt with three quarter sleeves and um super comfy i mean it is like the softest cotton and half off so it made it like i think that one was 10 like 15 bucks like not bad yeah i think that was like 27.99 right um and then to add to my mug collection they also had this half price 50th anniversary 68 comeback special mug mm -hmm. same thing on both sides and yeah, this one I think was fourteen ninety nine. Got it half yeah. price. Yeah, Marcy's Super saying cool. she got hers online at Graceland.com. Yep. Yep. So guys go. Yes. Um, and then um, so then there's the gift shop Holly and I took you through and told you about a, that's uh, by Graceland. Mm -hmm. It's not associated. So you don't get it's a like discount a here. Mom and Pop store. But it's called Boulevard Souvenirs. Go in there. They have tons of stuff wall to wall and actually really great prices. And uh, some people were asking about how to, they don't have, they have a website, but they don't have like anything online to buy, but you can call them directly. So if you saw anything in our video or if you like some of the stuff we got here, you can call them and I think they'll ship. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if they do it internationally, but I'm pretty sure they did at least do it to the U.S. So. All right. So this is one of the items I picked up there. It's yeah. an Elvis glasses case. Um, I actually had one that Holly bought me probably like 20 years ago, but I have worn that thing out. Like the whole inside has come out and everything. So I just wanted a new one. Um, and look, it even has a little. Oh, this How is really cute cool. is that? Look, it is an oh Elvis. Oh my gosh. It's an Elvis. Polishing cloth. I love cloth it. For your glasses. But anyway, That's this is perfect. Best. You know, even if you don't wear glasses, it's perfect for like sunglasses and stuff to mm -hmm. protect them. But I just love this. So I picked up that there. And yeah. then. Well, we're so excited about y'all. We also bought the Elvis Bingo. Yay. I know. Look I'm so this. pumped about look it. How, look how cool this is. Let me. Yeah. Isn't this the neatest? But yeah, and this was like $9.99. I was yeah. so excited because yeah. Holly and I have been talking about, like, we need to, like, make our own Elvis bingo. Mm -hmm. And here they had it all together. Yeah, so watch out, group members. We're yep. going to start our uh, monthly Elvis That's bingo because we, we can do online bingo. It's going to yeah. be so much fun. And then, let's see so, what else do we have left. Okay, um, then one more thing. And this was my splurge item for me because I do not spend out and I usually don't spend a full price. But... This is so versatile. It was like $30, which isn't like horrible, but I mean, it's kind of a lot. But it's this really cute, it's so long, you can't even see it. It's like a tunic top. It's a little tank top, but it's really, really long. You know, like if you wanna wear leggings or jeggings with it. And I, it says, love Elvis. But unless you really looked at it, you'd never know it. And I saw a few people wearing it throughout the week with just like black pants or black leggings and it's got Super some black. Cute. Let's see how cute. Yeah. But it is so soft, yeah. and I just thought, well, I can wear this year-round because yeah. I can just throw a shirt on under it or a jacket over it. Cute with a little cardigan. Yeah, or just wear it, you know, like a tank in the summertime. And it's just so soft, and it's just, like, kind of fashionable. It's it's not yeah. like a plain old T-shirt. It's, it's something that I can wear, you know, out and about. And that's the so. cool thing about there, yeah. you know. You don't have to just get, like, T-shirts. They have all kinds of cute, mm -hmm. like, shirts and things yeah. that you can get. All right. Do you want to show them this while I go grab the record? Yeah. Where are your drumsticks? <laughs> oh. I will. I don't know. I, I don't know. Go ahead. I don't know. Anyway, so a lot of you already know this. This is the souvenir cups that Holly and I get every single year. Um, and again, if you're going to Graceland and you're going to be there for several days, pick this cup up. It's like they're $13.99. Then you get your insider's discount of 10% off. You can get unlimited refills the whole time that you're there at all of the food shops and stuff at the complex. But we get these every single year. It's definitely a collector's item for us. So that was our Elvis cup. And again, thank you to Terry that uh, bought one of those when we auctioned it off for our Alzheimer's auction. And then, um, so those of you two that got the Elvis Week goodie bag, you already know about all this stuff, but Holly and I also love to collect all of this uh, stuff when we go down there as well and then keep it. So we always make sure that every year we get an Elvis Week postcard. You know, that way we know like what the theme was of the week, exactly the dates for the week and what the artwork was. Um, I'm but back. <laughs> we always get a button as well just because you know these are cool things to have like 30 40 years down the road mm -hmm. they're small things you can pick up quickly and easily not that expensive and have them um magnet we always love to get a little magnet our fridge is covered it's covered 
Um, and then we just pick up, you know, these little like free items like, you know, everybody's goodie bag contained. Because um, we just like to have, you know, whatever Coasters, they're talking napkins. about. Yeah, any kind of, they always have some great prom, uh, promo stuff lying around that you can pick up. This was awesome this year. Like we put this guide. in the um, goodie bag. It's a first edition collector's guide, and it's really informative and a really great like little guidebook and calendar. And it's yeah. got some beautiful yeah. pictures and stuff that. in it. So yeah, that's really neat. And then <coughs> they had these fans this year because it was hot as blue blazes the whole year, and it's a candlelight vigil. Candle yeah. So they passed these out, so you wouldn't pass out. <laughs> Thank you. She's here all week, y'all. Um, and then we definitely always get one of these because this is your guide to Elvis week, and it kind of talks about mm -hmm. the entire week and all the events and stuff. So this will help you keep track, you know, of, like, what all went on, and, like, you can even mark in it, like, what you attended. So mm -hmm. you can look back, you know, and be like, what did I do last year? Thank you. All right, excellent. And then, of course, we always keep our candlelight visual pamphlets mm -hmm. because these are, you know, just really cool. Mm -hmm. Gives you all the information about yeah. the vigil. It's awesome. Yeah, love it. Um, so that's mostly all the free stuff we got. And then, um, yes, yeah, so for those of you that were asking about it, go now to graceland.com. Mm -hmm. um, I, think, I think that's all you got to put in, Graceland shop graceland.com. Anyway, mm -hmm. they have a lot of Elvis Week items on there, mm -hmm. and a lot of the items we showed you in the souvenir shops, and they have several of them on sale. So right now they have one of the Elvis Week 2019 t-shirts mm -hmm. at a really good steal. Uh -huh. um, they have that Elvis purse that I showed oh, you at a nice. at an amazing I thought price. Oh, good Lord. Um, <laughs> they have that at an amazing price. And so I'm always on there because they send me emails. So sign up for Graceland.com and sign up for Insiders and Shop Elvis. And they'll send you emails almost every single day. They'll tell you when they're having a sale. And they have them quite frequently. And I just went on there last week and bought some more stuff. So... I bought this mug because I wanted a new coffee mug. So my other one that I showed you was like water and like soft drinks and tea and things. This is a cool coffee mug. Love it. I'm so excited. I just got it, what, yesterday? Day yeah. before yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, you know, has a little lid. A little flip-up spout. Perfect. So love that. Um, oh, yeah, Holly brought these. Um, I actually bought these down there. but these, We bought these at Boulevard Souvenirs. Yeah, they're drumsticks. So I bought them with the intention to get Ronnie Tut to sign them. Um, if I got to meet him, which I did get to meet him, um, but I got my she picture was too with him. Starstruck. Yeah, I got my picture with him instead. So I'm gonna hang on to these and uh, eventually get his autograph. But I just thought these were cool anyway, because you guys know I own a recording studio, and so I love music stuff. But anyway, cool drumsticks that say Elvis Presley and, on them. Um, a cool thing about those, I don't know if they're the same mm. ones. But when we were looking um, after the panels, Ronnie and James and all of them were signing autographs and stuff. And Ronnie sells those. I think those are his own that say Ronnie Tut. Right. Tut. They say like Ronnie Tut and he signs them. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can, I don't know if he's got a website that you could buy them on. I'm sure you could go to his fan page and like mm -hmm. ask about it if you like are a super Ronnie Tut fan. But he had quite a bit of those. And they, were, and they were only like 20 bucks yeah. for signed drumsticks. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. And then. Um, so I think that about wraps up. All everything our, except like, our big haul. yeah so this last item is gonna, probably my favorite yeah and it's going to segue us into what's to come in the future mm -hmm. so again this year 1969 las vegas was the thing mm -hmm. so they did two separate printings of this record because mm -hmm. you know vinyl's coming back i love vinyl i do too i wish vinyl would come back period i mean if i'm at the flea market yes. i'm going through the old record collections yes. well it's just so cool to have the big you know the all artwork, the artwork so beautiful. and everything yeah. um love it so love this y'all this is the vinyl album that they released of elvis August 26, 1969, International Hotel, Las mm -hmm. Vegas. Mm -hmm. And there's, like I said, there's two separate ones. So if, if you want to, you know, collect this, get the one that we're showing you here. So there's one that, it's two vinyl albums inside here. Mm -hmm. There's one they sell that is only black. They're both black. Mm -hmm. This is an exclusive to Graceland that you order at Graceland.com. And one album is hot pink. One album is like canary yellow. Love it. Super cool. That's the back of it. It's got all the songs and info and, you know, a little synopsis about it. So it's, it's really awesome. Yeah. And we'll, we'll open it up, um, 
here do it in the future. Oh, we don't have to. I mean, yeah, we can. We can if you want to, and then yeah, I'll, I'll let you talk about like what we're going to do with it. Um, but anyway, okay, so something really exciting coming for you all here in the upcoming weeks. So Holly and I, as we've told you before, really involved in the Alzheimer's Association um, because our mom suffers with Alzheimer's, so this has become a very important cause to us personally. Mm -hmm. And so for the past couple of years, Holly's done a great job of organizing some benefits in Knoxville and in Nashville. Nashville, so our hometown Knoxville and then here where we live in Nashville and doing benefits to raise awareness and most importantly money for the Alzheimer's Association um, and so we're always trying to think of you know items and things mm -hmm. to auction off and whatever so Holly had a great idea this year yes once we saw this album in Memphis Holly was like oh my gosh you know what we need to do we need to buy this album and then we need to give it to our good friend, Daryl Tony, who's one of the Imperials. And we need to have it autographed by the TCB band mm -hmm. and then auction it off and then give yes. all the money to Alzheimer's. Yes. So, guys, my, this is major. my Knoxville benefit, it's not until November 18th. P.S. If you live in the East Tennessee area, you should get a ticket. Tickets will go on sale probably sometime in October. Um, I haven't even posted about it yet because I'm, I'm in the stages of organizing it and getting all those silent auction items and stuff. And last year, we had almost 30 fantastic mm. um, gift baskets that we auctioned off, and it made a ton of money for the charity. But this year, I'm going to do an online. So this is probably only going to be online so that anybody in the U.S., can bid on it. So if you know of an Elvis fan, yeah. unfortunately I'll, we can't do it internationally. Yeah, I can't do it internationally, but all over the U.S., um, people can bid on it. So I'm gonna get. I'll probably get it up at sometime in October, and you'll be able to bid on it and kind of see how the bids are going. And then whoever is the highest bidder when I cut it off will win it. So it'll be this and. Like I say, it's tra the one we gave Daryl's traveling around the world because he's got to go a lot of places to get James and Ronnie and Glenn and everybody to sign it. So it's going to be, you know, an awesome one of a kind thing where all of them signed it. But I just opened this one up and I hadn't even seen the inside. Oh yeah, it's super cool. Okay, what do you see the inside? Are you ready? <laughs> Look how cool! Can you see it on the thing? I can't see. Look at this. I'll try to do this. Look at these awesome pictures, y'all. Love it. And then look at this. It's like the, uh, I can't see if it's on here. <laughs> it is. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's like the, uh, what? The You're marquee sign. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? And then, yeah. so I'm super pumped. I'll take out, let me take out my little album over on this side. Eek. I hate to like, I don't want to like your finger with that. Look, cute. Canary yellow. How mm. cute is that? Yeah, so that one's canary yellow. This one, Ooh. hot pink. Look how adorable these are, y'all. Yeah. So this Super is like fun. a collector's dream. Yeah. Just this like set alone, mm -hmm. but then to get these iconic musicians that were with Elvis and toured with Elvis mm -hmm. autographs, it's gonna be major. Yeah, so you guys, Save up your money because we're going to start <laughs> bidding on it in October. But just remember, I, I hope it goes for a gazillion dollars because 100% of the proceeds goes to Alzheimer's Tennessee, which does an amazing, amazing job yeah. of doing research, educating people, providing support um, to hopefully uh, help those in Tennessee with Alzheimer's and, you know, all over the world. And hopefully we'll find a cure. So, yes. So, yes. tell all your friends. Yes, for and sure. So be on the lookout, guys. And if you just want one of these, we um, bought this. It's not that expensive. It's only like twenty five ninety nine mm -hmm. for this. They have different packages. Like they have one that you can get like a key fob, and one mm -hmm. that had like a t shirt with it. And you can get like, not, like you can get. I think it's like twelve CDs. Yeah, you get the, like the box it. set, but it's like one hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah, it's like earth. But I mean, it's eleven unreleased shows yeah. of him in Vegas. So that's pretty cool. We're saving up. We're gonna get that one hopefully. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so anyway, yeah, the Piece de Resistance, this cool album. So if you want your own, you can get it. Or if you yeah. want to just save up and uh, so we're gonna try be, to bid. Yeah, we're going to be talking about this every Sunday, reminding people. Um, as you know, Holly always does her Thursday night jamming in my jammies. And we she'll, be, talk about she'll be talking about it on there. So we're, yeah. we're going to... We're super definitely, pumped. Definitely keep reminding you about it. But yeah, please pass it along. If you mm -hmm. know an Elvis collector or fan that uh, would love to have something like that and the opportunity, let them know. 
We're trying to raise as much money as we possibly can. Yes. So this is a big deal, but I thought it was a fantastic idea. And, you know, when I told Daryl about it, he was super excited. Um, he's already got James autographed. James was super excited about it thought mm-hmm. it was a great cause because you guys know how charitable James is yes. with his whole foundation and, and, you know, giving away his guitars and things. Mm-hmm. So um, it's just going to be a great thing that, that we're really pumped about and hope you're going to be as well. I know. So, are you looking at the comments? Does anybody have any questions? Let me see. Comment what was your favorite item, if you can. Yeah. What was your favorite item of everything you saw? Junior's ready for some Elvis bingo. <laughs> yeah. I know. Me too. Uh, let's see. Uh, Eddie says, reading it backwards when you hold it up. I know I hate that about Facebook, that it puts it like backwards. I know. It's weird. But if we flip it, then we can't mm-hmm. see the comments. It'll, yeah. It will like make everything look... Normal, but then you can't read the content. Karen loved the album. Aw. Tammy had a great time at Elvis Week and was so good to meet you, Holly. It was so good to meet you, too. Uh, Sandra says she loves everything we got. <laughs> I know. Oh, and she wants to know if my blue cup has Elvis on it. Actually, no. Um, right now, I literally have like probably five of my Elvis cups in the dishwasher because <laughs> I use them every day. But this one um, is pretty cool. I'll show you what it says. This one actually says, pour myself a cup of ambition, Dolly. So uh, this is actually one of Dolly Parton's mugs. That's her like iconic line from nine to five. And I love this mug. Holly, as you all know, worked for and with Dolly for many, many years. And she was in her shows and her bedazzler. So, and then you also were head of her um, store. She had a store here for a while in... Mm -hmm. Nashville, and Nashville Tickets and, and Treasures. Yeah. She's been here for a hot minute. And Holly helped with all the like merchandise and stock. Yeah, and I don't even think so, they make this anymore. Uh, that got me this. Quite a few years ago, but I loved yes. it too because I put myself a cup of a cup of it. Yes, it's one of my favorite lines. So Heather's rocking out her dolly. <laughs> Karen says her favorite was all of it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Carolyn loved your uh, soft long tank top. Thank you. Yeah. You know, and there was a couple of other items that I forgot we got because we got this really cool. Um, Elvis necklace that said Elvis in like rhinestones, but I gave it away as one of the uh, daily mm-hmm. giveaways, and it's already shipped out. So yeah, um, I said I should have saved it. To, wow, Marcy, to you that. have a great memory. So she says, uh, "Did I get my TCB ring, Marcy? Uh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not great yet, Marcy. Memory, Marcy. Um, I know I show it every year when we go in the gift shops, and I talk and about every it. Every year we talk about it. But I am. I'm getting it. I'm getting Because you could wear it all 10 I days. I know. You could wear it like all 10 days at Elvis I know. Week. And that'd be super cool. Well, I will tell you that they do have a lot of that, um, oh, what is his name? Lowell Hayes. Yes. They do have a lot of his jewelry on sale mm-hmm. right now at Graceland.com. Really? If you want to go on there and look. But there's, I was going to actually they have buy They trunk shows all throughout. Did you notice that? Too? Yes. Um, in the guest house, Betty Harper, uh-huh. who is an Elvis artist, she comes every year and, and has Patricio? like what they call trunk shows where mm-hmm. she just sits at a little table with all of her new artwork and you can buy it and chit chat with her and she's a doll we've never spoken to her but i've passed by and she's just so friendly and always yeah. talking to people and yeah joe is it patricio, patricio? or patricio i think it's I guess. patricio oh, okay. i think two c's in italian means Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Um, Who knows? But yeah, so I've been looking <laughs> for that TCB re yeah. online this week because I was going to go ahead and buy it because they had it on sale and like, you know, I get my insurance discount. But the thing about it is, is they make like two different sizes in it. Um, actually, I think they make three. They make a really big one that's mostly for men, but then they make two sizes for women. And as you can, well, you probably can't see, but I have really tiny hands, especially for how tall I am, because I'm almost 5'8", but I have really little <laughs> hands. And so I need the smallest one, and I can't find it online. That's so weird. So I know, I can't find it online, but I'm getting it. Marcy, when I get it, you're going to be the first we'll to see do, it. We might do a whole Facebook Live dedicated to the ring. I'll just come on. <laughs> The video like that. Um, Junior says he loves the velvet photo behind us. He's burnt in a home fire. What? What? Oh, that's so sad. Oh. Yes, this beautiful thing. We can thank this. Everybody makes fun of me for it. And I don't know why. I think it's awesome. But yes, um, Holly and my dear friend Stacy Mitchell, um, who is (laughs) does not understand my love and fascination of Elvis. Um, he found this at a flea market, flea market shop oh, well, like in, an antique Pigeon store. Forge. in Pigeon Forge. In Pigeon Forge. It was only $20, and it's huge. And um, I love it. We did a whole thing. You can look back, The Adventures of Velvet Elvis. That's what we call him. And because uh, Stacy brought it up here <gasps> with him. Marcy, are you saying that you got one of the rings earlier this year? 
I want to see a picture. Post it to the Everything Elvis group. Yeah, and I, I want to see a picture. Oh, that's what I wanted to speak of, too. Thanks to everybody that's been so interactive. Like, everybody, um, you know, messages me with questions, or they put up questions in the comments, or if they find out anything. Um, Terry, the other day, was just saying she found out the Elvis Week dates for us, which oh, I was like, Oh, I was going to talk about up. that here at the end. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, but, remind me to do that, because there's Yeah, a but things. thanks for just being so interactive with us, you know, on the group. You can always, like... <clears throat> post and a comment and you know yeah. share all of your Elvis stuff if you buy something hey put it on the group we'd all love to see it and comment oh, and junior says that they it. have the small ring for 105 i know junior um but did you see it online recently maybe i just missed it i'll go back online and look yeah. um but yes for those of you asking because last <coughs> week we had the question when is elvis week going to be in 2020 and i told you that i had looked and they didn't have the dates out yet. Mm -hmm. Well, oddly enough, this week, literally on like Wednesday, I think it was, mm -hmm. um, the guest house at Graceland sent out an email for their early bird special prices for the guest house of Elvis Week. Mm -hmm. And Elvis Week is going to be August 8th through the 16th. So that was what I thought was interesting I was telling mm -hmm. you guys. Because the 16th this year falls on a Sunday. Yeah. So I thought it was going to be interesting to see when they were going to like work Elvis Week around that. Because mm -hmm. they usually go like a Friday to Sunday. Yeah. And usually, you know, the 16th falls like within the middle or end of the week. But now it falls on the very last day. So they're going to start it on Saturday the 8th, mm -hmm. go through Sunday the 16th. So that's the official dates. And then also, for those of you that are trying to book your stays and you're wanting to do the guest house right now, between now and September 30th, if you book at the guest house, they call it the early bird special. Mm -hmm. I still think it's way expensive. But if you're going to Graceland for the first time, or it'll be the only time you go and Back you want to experience dream. the guest house, do it. It is $309 a night, two night minimum. And I think it's like an $11 resort fee on top of that and taxes on top of that. So it's so, not cheap. But you only get that price up until September 30th. And then I'm not sure what it goes to after mm -hmm. that. I guess probably like 400 and up. Yeah. But, you know, so book it now. Mm -hmm. And they also said that if you book one of your nights as the 15th, um, you get to attend this special like Elvis memorial dinner mm -hmm. the night of the candlelight <coughs> vigil yeah. and that will be included in your stay and then also if you book this early bird special for every person that's in your room so like if you're taking four of your family and friends everybody gets that 28.95 TCB pass so you know a little bit of an incentive there yeah. so, so just so give we you a heads up we will talk more about that next sunday um and if you have any questions we'll do like a little q a next sunday and talk about anything else we find out about elvis week um then so leave your comments or you can always private message or comment within the group and we will try our best to find out and answer for you so We've been on here long enough. Oh my gosh, we've been on here forever. So we just had a lot of Elvis memorabilia. Uh, yes, stuff. you could. So, guys, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful week. Join me this week, either Wednesday or Thursday. I'm doing jamming in my jammies. We had such a fun time last weekend, and thanks to everybody that tuned in. And then next Sunday, we'll see you here again. We're gonna really try for 12:30 on the dot. So, <laughs> y'all have an awesome week. Have a great Sunday, and we will see you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.